morning. We're so glad you're here. We vlog, so I hope you come back. Um, I am in the corral for the 10K of Doby Weekend. It's a little chilly today, but we got on Mylar and it's not terrible, so I'm gonna hang out in the corral. Carolyn's gonna meet me here. We will stay warm and we will run a nice 10K all around Crescent Lake. So. It's a good day. Okay, who is this? It's a really long line. Longest so far. Thought to get an Epcot. Who is it? Ah, Cinderella. Lovely. Lovely. All right. Once again, in the best place in the whole world. World Showcase Lagoon. Got some Christmas music going. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at this. I can't wait to get to Crescent Lake. Got some ACS friends. I think we might have some other friends cheering. That guy's having a good time. Look at boom, 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 boom. Love it. All right, back to running. All right, home, home turf. Here we go. Mile four. Here we go, Mary and a penguin. Wow. All right. There's Guardians. Finish line around the corner. Here we go, final stretch. Woo -hoo. I see a finish line. Okay. Who's happy out there? Just like that, another one over. 10K. Cute metal. Gonna wait for Carolyn here, the runner reunite area. Gonna drive her back to her resort and then go home for our fun weekend. We got a lot of stuff today. We got ACS brunch, checking into the Polynesian Resort and get ready for the half marathon tomorrow. It was beautiful weather today, which is probably because it's looking like not good weather tomorrow. We had storms rolling in. Hopefully I'll be done, but it all depends on how the radar changes between now and tomorrow morning. Hello, um, Peter just dropped me off at the Yacht Club Convention Center. This is where our ACS team determination brunch is today. Um, I've never been here before, so I was told it's way down the hallway. Alrighty, we're in the Cape Cod Hall. Let's see. <laughs> Look how cute those little pictures are. And so fun. Like, this is Disney World. You just never know. Like, there has to be art chosen for here and plants in here. Someone has to water that plant. This is, this is so nice. Hello. Hi. All right, we are at the Yacht Club. Gonna enjoy some lobby time before we go to our ACS event over in the convention hall. Winning right here. Some snacks before our ACS. Got some fresh waters. Now we left the yacht club to head over to the Cape Cod Convention Hall where our ACS event is happening. We haven't had one here yet. Pretty exciting. I've never actually been to this convention center, so pumped. Guys, this convention hall is noise. I'm like, I got a little bit of uh, convention hall snobbiness, like love for it because of the hotel life. That I used to live in and work in. And this is yeah. bigger than I expected and nice. Check this out. Yeah. Wow. It feels endless with those mirrors at the end. Look at this cute painting. Tell us if you know who painted that. I want them. Oh, here we got another one. Yeah, there's people back there, babe. We have to go to the Cape Cod Hall. The boys have joined me 
we're gonna do some coloring before. Yeah, all the yummies. James wanted to show this. We got scones and pretzels. Yeah, so yummy. Daddy, we're on staycation. I know. Because of all of you, we are closer to that galaxy without our Death Star and our world without cancer. Um, thanks, my co MC Catcher. Um, you guys, have so much fun. It's going to be so hot tomorrow. Um, and enjoy. Thank you all. Here we go. 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 Look at that number two. What? Ta-da, ta-da. Our room is not ready yet, but I'm gonna go talk to the front desk to see if I can get a room. Also, because the room might not be ready, both DVC buildings are over by the small parking lot, so I hopped out and Sarah hopped in the driver's spot to go park over there, because it's also nap time for the kids, so we're hoping that either we're gonna walk around the resort in the stroller with them, hopefully sleeping, or I'll go talk to the front desk and see if I can get a room that is ready. So we'll see. But Sarah's parking the car with the kids, and I'm gonna run in. Hello, the ACS brunch is over. It was such a lovely event, as always. Um, that is another perk of running with Team Determination. Um, if you're an athlete, you actually, you get to go for free to the brunch, and then your family members can come. The, the price, I don't wanna say price, because I, a little uncertain and it might change over the years you know um but your family and your friends and anyone who supports you is also welcome um you just purchase a ticket through acs and we saw all the food it was so yummy and just we just had a great time the boys there was like a lot of space for them to play you guys know how much we love acs and that's like how peter was able to do his very first dopey there were no bibs and we were like let's think about running with a charity and here we are this is his fifth dopey um still they can't get rid of us um so we drove over to the polynesian peter just went to the front desk to check and see like um like if our room was ready or if they had an update um and they said it should be ready soon both of the boys are napping in the back so yeah we'll probably put them in the stroller and stroll around um, I'm actually gonna go back to the expo, so I'll get, a, I promise, I'll get some footage of the expo, um, which will be super weird. I've never been there, not on just like the first day. I've never like gone back a different day. Um, so I'm gonna go back there with ACS for a bit. And yeah, Peter's gonna figure out what he's gonna do with the kids napping and probably meet up with the Earhearts at some point. All right, I just had the most wonderful experience checking in with Peter, who was in his college program. Um, room is not ready yet, but he's, he said he's going to go call Mickey Mouse and that it should be ready in just a few moments. He's, Mickey Mouse just needs to make sure it's, it's, everything is ready. So hopefully we get a text message here. Sarah, let me know the boys are asleep. And I got a bunch of lays for me and Sarah and the boys. So I'm walking over to the parking lot to meet them. Hoping that like any moment after I get there that we just get the text message the room's ready. But... It is awesome to be back at the Polynesian. Last time we stayed here was last year at, during Dopey, right before we went to the cruise. I remember it was so cool because we left here to go to Cape Canaveral. We're not doing that quick of a turnaround for Disneyland, but we are gonna go home from here on Monday and get ready to go to the airport on Tuesday. Um, so, exciting week. Basically on vacation now to show you the level of detail and magic that this cast member wanted to give to our family. He mapped out everything for us, explained everything at our transportation, when the fireworks are, when the water pageant are. I just love when cast members do that. So I don't stop them when they want to do that. I'm not gonna be like, you know what? I got all that. I know all that. Cause I'm like, you know what? I value the time and effort you're given. Cause this is awesome. And I will be putting in a cast compliment for Peter for sure. This is what we're doing. We loaded up our single city mini with all of our bags. We're gonna load the bugaboo with our children because hopefully they stay asleep. All right, I'm gonna give you a little tour. It's gonna be a little quiet because Teddy is awake, but Sarah's gonna try to come back down. But you walk in, shower, or bathroom, big bathroom with a tub and a shower, and it's big. Then, this is the, this is the big clutch winner. These things are massive. You have your kitchenette because it's a DVC studio, right? But then across from it, there's another shower. Waterfall shower, seat. And there's a second one, so then you don't disturb the family. 
All right, here's the view from this angle. Teddy's relaxing with Sarah, and we have a James sleeping. Welcome home, Brooke, our family. Look at we have like the the Hey Disney thing. Um, this is the pull down, so we have a pull down, and then Sarah's on the other queen. We have Lilo and Stitch there with some just floral vibes. Here is the big old balcony. This thing is long, and look at how loungy that chair is. Loungy chair, table, loungy chair. Perfect for decaf coffee in the morning. <sighs> so time to unpack. Sarah has to go to the expo for ACS in a couple hours. So we're gonna get all this unpacked. It's gonna be great. We got into the room and there's also this little card on the bed. Aloha and welcome home from Mike Davis, the housekeeping manager. And there were two Rice Krispies on the bed. How sweet, a little bit of magic. Great. We are back at the expo. I'm a little early because I'm gonna grab something to eat and take a look around. So I ordered from cilantro. I got this chicken quesadilla. It looks so good. My friend Megan had it the other day and I was like, I have not been able to stop thinking about it since. So I'm gonna eat this and check out the expo. View. There are the big oversized maps over there, so that's what I'm gonna head over and check out. Here are all of the medals for this weekend. I think Goofy's my favorite. I just love that color combo. Kids races. And then here are Disneyland which I can't even believe we're gonna be there next week. That one, that one might be my favorite. The coast to coast. This is the back of that coast to coast with partners on it. I love it. Okay, so these are the two races that have already happened. But if you're curious in the future, this was the, the route here. Always a world showcase centric race that view is spaceship earth so there's the 5k and then the 10k did this little like wrap around this morning and then peter's home turf of crescent lake and world showcase and out the side here's a little distance shot of the half marathon so a lot of a little Epcot roundabouts, up to magic, and back. And the full start in Epcot, up to Magic Kingdom. You go through like underneath Tron, that's super cool. Through the park, over to resort. A lot of, it looks like forest, a road, down through Animal Kingdom, go right past Everest. You can even ride it if you want to. Then near Blizzard Beach, but not quite in it. Through just by Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. A little bit of Crescent Lake, World Showcase, and finish. And I actually bought something for myself today. It's a little clip from B.B. Brooke. How cute. All right, so we got one baby in the stroller. One baby walking next to me holding butter croissants. So we're gonna make our way to the beach. I think we're gonna start there. It's one of those things that could be five minutes of fun for the boys, or it could be an hour. And then I think uh, we're just gonna like, hang out maybe. Yeah, you see look at the pool? We're gonna do that and then see about getting some dinner at Grand Floridian and Gasparilla. I think uh, the kids might like the mac and cheese there. And uh, maybe hit up an arcade or two. Just, you know, enjoy the resort night. It's cool, it's breezy, it's four o'clock, and the goal is to have fun and burn energy out of these little boys. So everyone sleeps good tonight before the half marathon.
this. This is what drains are made of. Right on the sand of the Polynesian with my babies. Come and get this, James. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! All right, now we're off. We just missed this monorail. We'll get the next one and we'll make sure we get a spot done with the stroller. We're gonna go over to Grand Floridian and get some Gasparilla Grill. The boys had so much fun at the beach. Come on. And it's Wes. Of all the pianists, Wes is playing tonight. Yes. And playing Toppins as well. Magical night. There's so much room for activities because they haven't put the furniture back back yet, but the gingerbread house is gone. We are traveling to Disney's Contemporary Resort. During our travels, please hold onto the handrail and stay clear of the door. Alright, we're going back to the Polynesian, but not without a little view of the beautiful Christmas. Alright, well I just did like a whole three minute rant that I don't know why my phone wasn't recording, but it wasn't, so I had the camera. Long story short, for the there's storms tomorrow morning and Run Disney modified the half marathon to be 7 miles instead of 13.1. So that's a huge bummer, a big pill to swallow, but I'm going to run 13.1. I think Carolyn is is set on running 13.1. So we're, we have, a, we have a, a preliminary plan of like the way they're, they're starting it early and I'm sure they're going to push corral waves rather than doing waves. They're just going to start letting people go and not stagger them as much to get them on the route because they want to get everybody off route by 8 a.m. because the storm is supposed to be here by 9. So I'm thinking if Carolyn and I can start at 4.45 or 5, get the seven miles done through the like official Run Disney event, get our medals, and then like go to Crescent Lake, let's say, and run six miles at Crescent Lake, which is only like three or four laps. Then we have our 13.1, and I think that can be done before 9 a.m. So it's for everybody's safety. So it's a, it's, I know Run Disney didn't, they didn't do this lightly. So I, I have to, I have to think and and know that it's the right call. But it's still a big pill to swallow, and it's a disappointment. But it's for everybody's safety, so it's good. But I will be running 13.1 tomorrow. We won't know until we know how the weather is and how what time I actually start and what time I actually finish because if they don't stagger us, there could be lumps of people and it could be difficult to get done in a certain time zone. We'll see, but I'm getting 13.1. We're calming down for the night. We gave the boys a bath. Sarah's back from the expo, it was a good time. We're gonna order a little late night snack dinner, some Thai curry bowls from um, Captain Cook's because it's got some good protein and rice and then uh, go to bed. Alrighty, we got some dinner. We have the Thai coconut curry meatballs. I think that's what they're called. Maybe just Thai coconut meatballs. And then we got pork nachos. Peter and I are gonna split it all. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>